So I start the day building my furniture, you know, wake up two hours in building the furniture. Then I look at my phone and I'm like, Lego Leaks? Let's get my thoughts on these right now. So to start off, we have the three 30 second bell pack. This is gonna be $24 USD and then 26 euros as you guys see. And it looks okay for some speeder, but for $24, oh my gosh, this is insane. Um, this is not a good price for this set. However, I do like the fact that they actually included jetpacks for them. Uh, very nice way to get jetpacks, very happy about that. However, I'm not too happy with how this set came out. I was expecting at least there to be Super Battle Drift potentially because of that high price point, but this is just a really overpriced battle pack. Oh my goodness, I've never seen them go this high on something like this. But they priced out the demand for these figures. They were like $27 a fig before the rumors for this set came out. And now it's decreased back down to like $15, $10, somewhere between there. Which is a good thing for this figure. However, for people who invested a ton of money into them like me, it really stinks. But it's good. You know, this is a great way for a bunch of people to get the 330 second figure. However, these don't look as good because of those helmet holes that are in the wrong place still. It doesn't look great. However, you know, that's the way LEGO is going with it now, and they refuse to fix it, which, you know, it's fine, honestly. It's not that terrible. I just wanted consistency with the other clone troopers. Now, zooming in on the main figures, it does look like we have Captain Vaughn, which was rumored to be in this set. He does have an updated torso, but that is really the only difference about him from the other figures. Of course, the visor, too, but, you know, that doesn't really add much value to the figure. You could probably assume that there's going to be a ton of accessories for all the other clone troopers, but they're going to be in the orange color which will not match with any of the other figures at all because when there's an orange visor there's going to be all the other visors that are orange and things like that that come in these kind of sets so there's that to this set as well but for 24 dollars this is just the most overpriced battle pack ever at least the fall first battle pack which was 29 dollars had some substance to it it felt like a fair value even though they were robbing the fans this is just straight up robbery though but will I still buy a bunch of these because I love the 332nd? Yes. But what I would have loved to have seen was the Death Watch battle pack to fight against these. We haven't seen any Death Watch members in so long except for Gar Saxon, which isn't army biddable at all. We should have gotten some Darth Maul Mandalorians, which would have been great in this battle pack. It would have made this battle pack so much better, but unfortunately, we just didn't. Alright, now we got Yoda's Starfighter, which is... It's something. It looks like the exact same thing as the other one, except a little bit more towered off, you know, a little bit nicer. However, it's just the same two figures as the last one we got a few years ago. I don't know why they care about this so much, but not the battle on Ring of Venga base. I know I said that wrong. I'm sorry, guys. But this is just like, it doesn't need to exist, but it's a good build and a fair price for what you're getting, I suppose. But, you know, at the same time, I have two of these sets. My friend Micah has this set. My friend the new builder has this set. Who doesn't have this set? And no one was asking for this whatsoever. So that's why I find it a bit odd that LEGO just decided to make this. Now we got Yavin 4. This was my reaction when I heard this was going to happen. Guys, we're getting a freaking Yavin 4. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is... This is insane! You know what? Versus now. Yes, this is black screen intentional. Let's take a look at the set. So here is the great Yavin 4 base. Yeah, it doesn't look great. It looks very unfinished. Like, I mean, it just feels so undone. Like, oh, this could have been so much better. I'm so sad we didn't get the Yavin 4 base I was looking for. Although it's only $160, which this set could have easily been an MBS, all business in front, all, you know, play in the back set, like the Darth Vader's Castle, which was $129, this could have been like that, except it just isn't that, which is so unfortunate because I'm wanting this set for so long. Like, look at that disgusting tree. I'm sorry, just look at that tree. It's so disappointing. And the wide wing, I mean, you didn't need to include that in this set. Just get rid of it and make the Yavin base a little bit bigger or more detailed. That would have made me so happy. I mean, I know they need that for play, but I'm just not in love with this Yavin as I thought I would be. Let's take a look at this set more in depth, though. So, as we go more in depth, the figures are insane. 
I knew there was going to be a ton of figures, which I'm super happy we got. We needed this. We needed a set with a bunch of original trilogy characters and Rebel Fleet Troopers. I'm so excited for it. So let's take a look at every figure. So first off, we got Luke. You know, he looks pretty chill, as always. You know, glad to see him in his celebration outfit again. I've had two of the figure, and I've lost both of them. So I'm very happy to see this again. We got Celebration Han Solo. Very nice. Previously only in the book, now in the set. Leia looks great, you know, new hairpiece looking good as always. Joe Dodonna makes me sad I bought that X-Ring that came out in 2019 that I didn't really like or need for that figure, but now it's in the set, you know, great, glad to see it. All right, now this is the good part. We got some amazing X-Wing pilots. I think we've only gotten one of these before, and the other one we haven't, which is great to see. We got Chewbacca again, and we got C-3PO and R2-D2. Hopefully R2-D2 has back praying, but probably won't. And we got another droid, which I can't really read it out. It's R2-something, which, you know, is fine. We got Rebel Fleet Trooper. Thank goodness, I love those. Those are like my Holy Grail main figures. It's one of my top 10 Rebel Fleet Troopers. And then it also looks like we got a Rebel Ground Trooper, which, you know, I heard there was supposed to be one more figure in here that was in Episode 3, Return of the Jedi, which didn't make any sense at all to have in the set, but, you know, I was really excited to see him be in the set, but he's not Sally, so that's a bit unfortunate. But, you know, it's a pretty solid lineup of figures, basically what you would get in a Falcon set if it was from the original trilogy currently. Now, taking a look, I do love that they have a luggage cart. I think that looks great. It's a great build for that. The y ring's not as bad as I thought it would be, I just wish they would have dedicated those pieces to the temple instead of having it like this. And another cool concept I wish LEGO would have done, which they may still have adapted it, is that you could actually connect like another Yavin 4 to the back of this and make it whole as one. That may be a feature we just haven't seen yet with Technic pins on the other side, but I would have loved that. Like, you, so you could buy four of this set or something and put them in a big, you know, circle, and that would have been great. But I don't think they're going to do that, unfortunately. It does look like we have a room where they actually talk about the battle before they do it. And then, you know, Rebel Command. And it looks like the Y-Wing will fit inside. I don't know if there's sliding doors on the inside or not. We can't really tell from these images. But overall, I'm just not as hyped for this set as I was originally going to be. I'm sure it's going to grow on me. I'm going to buy it day one, obviously, because I've been hyped for a for for the longest time. I don't care how much it costs, but I'm going to buy it day one. And... You know, it is what it is, but, you know, I just think the set could have been way better from what I'm seeing. And I think a lot of people feel that way, too. So, let's head to the outro of this video. All right, let's wrap up today's video. What are your thoughts on these? They don't, they are, I have very mixed feelings on these. I don't know how to feel yet. However, I hope all you guys do enjoy the September sets that are rumored to come out. And hopefully they look way better than these. Uh, but that's great for today's video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Stay awesome. Stay subscribed.